What up, it's your girl Minna, and today we're gonna be doing a video that was actually requested by one of my followers on Instagram, and she wanted me to do a comparison of cream contour versus powder contour. I don't think there's gonna be a difference, but we're gonna see. I need to get my edges together. I'm using this 24-hour edge tamer extra mega hold by Evan. You can find this on my Amazon storefront. I got this from the beauty supply, of course, but if you you know, don't have access to it, especially now with us being quarantined, then you can grab that from my storefront. I mean, I used gel and I used got to be to get this hair up like this, but for now, day two, I'm just gonna use this to bring it all down. And I'm just using my fingers. As you can see, I don't need to use a brush. That does look white because of the products from yesterday, but it is gonna dry. I always start off my face by putting on my lip primer. This is e.l.f. Lock-On Lip Primer. This thing is like $2 on sale, $4 originally. I believe it's at Target and also online. I'm gonna prime my face. I might as well just use a Revlon Prime Plus Mattifying and Pore Reducing. Does it do those things? I mean, I don't know. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I use it because it's necessary. Is it revolutionary? I don't know. I like to focus the primer in my T-zone. That's the place that I need it. It makes the most sense. I already did my skincare. That's important. I've mentioned before that even when you're doing your makeup, you still have to do your skincare. Don't skip that step. Don't just expect the primer to do everything for you. I've done my eye cream, serum, moisturizer, all of that, okay? Right next to me, I have the Julia's Place. I am Magic Velvet Matte Togo Foundation. So let me just use this. And this is my winter color from JP. In the summertime, I use Angola, cause that's dark. Although it's Houston, and we're like between 70 and 90 each day nowadays, which I love actually. This is my color for now, you see? When I get to the outer part of my face, I sheer it out like I've told y'all before. You don't wanna cake on the foundation on the outer part of your face. There's no need for that whatsoever. I do found foundation first. That's my technique. A lot of people do it that way. It's not like I made it, but that's the way I do it. There are people you will find that will do eyes first. I used to do that when I first started doing makeup, but for the past like five years, I've been doing face first and I love it. It's better for me that way. I do like to use a brush when I apply my foundation and I did a side-by-side -side comparison video where you can see that I tried out applying foundation with my sponge versus with a brush. So take a look at it if you have any interest after you watch this video. I do bring my foundation above my brows just to even out that skin and I wipe off as needed and go back in and apply because now I'm toward my hairline and I don't want to kick it on the hairline. So here we are on the hairline. I just want to apply it in a sheer fashion because I am going to contour. No need to kick up the foundation onto the hairline but we do want to just bring it there so it all mixes together. I, when I do eyeshadow I don't put my foundation above my eyelids. I only put, my, I only put foundation above my eyelid when I'm doing my natural look. I don't put eyeshadow above my eyelids. And of course you have to highlight. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer in the color 10. And these sponges I bought as a five pack on Amazon, so bomb. Different colors, so soft. Love these way more than the Sonia Kostik sponges. I'm gonna link them below, you need these. Have you tried them out from Amazon? So, so soft. All right, I've highlighted everywhere and now is the time that I would do my contour. So I've been using the stick foundation from Juvia's Place in the color Congo. And this is how I do my contour, okay? Three of these lines and then I take this brush. Just based on the shape of it, it's perf It's a perfect brush. I could use the sponge to blend too, but I just like to use this. So this has to be blended into the hairline. That is so important. And I rinse it or wash it out in the evening when I wash off my makeup. So I'm gonna stop right here so that this is on the half part of my face. The thing about a stick, a stick contour is that it's just prominent contour than a powder contour would be. But we're gonna, we're gonna do it side by side, you know, we're gonna see. And I always just do this to blend any harsh lines. Now, I do not contour my jawline, although there are lots of people who do. I just don't like to. I don't like putting any makeup on my chin or my neck. It's not my thing. Okay, now the strange thing is that I have to remember to powder contour this side of my face. So please remind me, okay? Here we have the cream contour. Here we have no contour. I'm gonna set my face because that still has to happen. What I do also is take leftover product on this brush do this. And I'm gonna use the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder that I got in my Boxy Charm to set my face, although this is very white. It is very finely milled, so it gives me no problems, no flashback issues. It is the whitest powder I've used all over my face, and I'm a believer. I was nervous when I first used it, 
but I'm hooked now. It's fluffy brush and I set my whole face. And as I'm setting, I'm lightly dusting it off. So this is CoverGirl Queen Collection powder in the color medium is what it looks like. And I'm just putting it right here, focusing wherever there could be a harsh line from my contour to my face. There's no contour here. So like, I don't know, right? Only contour on one side of my face versus this one. Now I want to clean up my brows and give you an eye look. Give you an eye look. Give you an eye look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sad I'm this is MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pot. So I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna walk you through all the colors. I know y'all like to know the colors, but on Instagram, that is just too much. It's just too difficult. So that's why I have my YouTube. This is G Money, blending G Money right up. I'm gonna make this a quick look too, cause this is really about the contour, right? There's G Money, blending that in a wild fashion, a wild yet, yet calculated fashion, dust off the excess as that's being done. Then into my cream, I'm going to put not my journey this is bright purple not my journey I like to blend colors if you've watched any number of my videos you know that especially on Instagram I want the eye to pop more so I'm taking heart on I got a neon vibe going on right now <laughs> Bring the purple back, not my journey, because I want this to be darker. Yes, come on. I'm blending heart on and journey, not my journey. Add a little more heart on, a little more red. This is a total rainbow vibe. Now I'm going back to not my journey. Look at the blending, I know. I'm doing a lot. This is what I do. You gotta get it to where you want it to be. And if it's not where you wanna be, you gotta keep on going. So look at the difference. Yes. Okay, what did we do? We did we did not my journey. Is that what I did? <laughs> I forgot. I'm doing it lightly as well. I don't need to be digging into our face. Just, you know, put it here lightly, you girl. A little more heart on right here. I'm gonna bring heart on in here more. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Where are we going? Nowhere. I'm about to go wash this off and go work out. <laughs> Quarantine life. All right, I'm gonna bring Not My Journey up here more. I like to brand my, brand what? I like to blend my crease color into my brow. That's just my thing. All right, I believe the eye is good. Good to go. I've seen all this before. Get them up on, yeah, get them up. I'm so done with myself. If you're done with me, comment below. If you feel like you should have a pina colada in your hand while you're watching this video right now, I want you to comment below with a pina colada. Ah. Ooh, this is a contour video turned to Ilan, Ilan. Murder she wrote. Hey, murder she wrote. The black is temptress from the same eyeshadow palette, and this is Tarte Big Ego Mascara. You know that the mascara that I use on top of my eyelash, I don't really care about. I don't get anything fancy. I mean, this one. And where did I get this from? This might have been in my boxy charm. Shoot. I don't care about what I use on top because I always wear falsies and so it doesn't matter. The lashes I'm gonna wear are actually Miss 3D MG23 lashes. Although I get my lashes now. I had already bought those before I discovered the whole China lash thing. So I get my lashes from China and I bought a whole bunch like months ago and I love them because they're wicked cheap and these are the same lashes that people be selling here in the US for anywhere between 10 and $25, okay? Here are the lashes, very full and I still haven't contoured, feels so weird. I'm gonna contour in a second after I do my under eyes with eyeliner and then the eyeshadow to balance it all out. So let's do that. All right, I took some of the black temptress under my eye and then the gold in my inner eye is Talia. Talia, Talia, yes. Oh, wait, okay, okay, okay. Here's the part you needed, right? The, the powder contour. See, I've, I'm almost forgetting because I'm just not used to this. So I'm going to use a dark powder and this is the Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation Full Spectrum. This is by CoverGirl, the color is Deep Cool 4. And here we go. Right where I would have put cream, I'm just putting powder. Get it into the hairline. All right, this is a big fluffy powder brush from Moda. This came in my boxy charm as well. A lot of goodies from boxy charm. I brought that contour in a lot more than this side. <laughs> Let me use this to bring it down a little bit. <laughs> okay, so because the brush is so fluffy. It came up more than on this side, but I want to keep it true to what I said by not mixing. So there's the, I can't look over here, but there's the powder gun so wow, okay? And then let me take that brush that I used for my nose again and putting the powder contour on this side. 
Now I normally don't go down with a powder, but because there's no cream contour on this side, I have to bring it down in order for it to be even. Taking some more of this. Okay, now I need to make this even, so sorry, we gotta go right here. This is not working for me. Okay, very lightly. I don't need this to be dramatic. When I do the cream contour, I don't go over my nose, except maybe right here, just because I'd like this to be defined right up in here. But I don't go over the pointy part anymore. I just leave it. But yeah, there's a powder contour. I could go a little deeper, but this looks good. This looks good. Now we do the shimmer highlight. Put that away. This is Confetti Highlighter, Ciate London. Love Raj. Do you see any difference between the contours? This is powder, this is cream. And obviously you could mix the two by doing the cream first and putting the powder on at the end like I did, right? Sometimes I do both, depending on how dramatic I want this to be. And then for the lip, a peachy lip just kills it. Those are out the pock, like you can't even go wrong. Hot Date Liquid Lipstick from Matt, I mean, uh, Mented. Oh, I didn't do bottom mascara. Oh, I can't stand when I forget to do that. <laughs> Gotta make sure I do that. And then I have been in love with Slow Down Makeup Shayla ColourPop Collab. Mmm, how cute. And I could really make this lighter by adding some more of the lip or even like another lippy. Oh, oh, this is so cute. You cannot go wrong. So here you are, girl. You got, a, you got a bold look on YouTube. I know a lot of people are like, can you do a slow down version on YouTube? Once I've done the look on Instagram, I'm not doing it again. However, this... This is kind of like looks that I've done in the past. The best mascara that I have found that I use on my lower lash only because it really stretches things out. Adds on fibers and it looks bomb. I am officially ready to go work out. <laughs> I obviously never do my makeup to work out, but if I have just filmed and I'm going to work out, I'll keep it on simply because if I if I wash my face, I need to do my skincare. I'm not gonna do that to then work out, to then do my skincare, to then shower and do skincare again. So I just work out with this on and then I shower, wash it all off, do my skincare and I start all over again, you see? So I'm about to go work out. Hopefully you liked this video. Do you see a difference? This is the contoured side with the cream. This is the contoured side with the powder. I could have went heavier, but I just left it. What do you think? What would you have done differently? Do you like this eye look? Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video with your girlfriends. If you are not already subscribed, make sure you do that. That's it. Thanks for watching.